Stay tuned. Stay with us. We're going to go now to um, Hillary Kramer. She is the editor of GameChangerStocks.com. Thanks for joining us, Hillary. You've been on the show before. Let's get right to it. I was mentioning this to Julie. She brought up a good point. You know, a lot of people say Netflix is overvalued, but I took a quick look at Amazon. There are a million ways to slice it, but just looking at sort of relative valuations on a PE basis, Amazon on a PE basis trading about 73 times. You've got Apple at 19 times. You've got Microsoft off at 12 times, you know, eBay at 22, Google at 23. Why the huge discrepancy there? Uh, Amazon is beloved right now. It's a technical trade, especially we see $200 a share, Lisa. You know, this stock is even more off to the races. Uh, there's a lot of CapEx going on in Amazon right now in like France and China, and that's why their free cash flow is negative in the previous quarter. But what we're going to see is it's a stock that, that really the growth, the growth investors love right now, and they're going to bring it up. And because the shorts are getting burned on Netflix, you know, everyone's covering, and so that's also creating this momentum behind Amazon. Where is the biggest company for Amazon? They sort of, you know, lost a little bit of the e-reader battle in some mm -hmm. sense to iPad. They seem to be doing well, though, in terms of Kindle sales and book sales, but they're, you know, they're an online retailer, and we saw, mm -hmm. saw that a lot more people over the holidays were shopping online, but mm -hmm. where's their big opportunity? It's in China. Even though we just saw the IPO of China e-commerce Dang Dang, it doesn't mean that we're not going to see um, Amazon become the dominant force in China, and they've spent the money there, and that's what everyone's looking at is the worldwide global opportunity for sales. I mean, their, their revenue was up 39% last quarter versus the quarter in 2009. We're going to see that kind of trend continue. Let me bring in Julie Hyman for just a moment. She was giving us a little bit of preview of um, Amazon stocks and their earnings after hours. Hey, Julie, did you want to ask a question of Hillary? I did. You know, Hillary, um, as I was just mentioning, one of the um, perhaps concerns about Amazon have been the costs. As we all know, there's a lot of free shipping, not just by Amazon, but by many different retailers right now. They're building a lot of warehouses and data centers. How much of a headwind is that going to be uh, for Amazon and for the stock going forward? You know, it, it, Julie was just asking, I have to paraphrase it for you okay. because we forget here that you didn't have the earpiece in, but you know, they've invested quite a bit in sort of infrastructure here, right? They are building out quite a bit of capacity lately. You know, we heard actually an announcement, I think it was just yesterday about email services and they're mm -hmm. sort of getting into this cloud computing space. How much of a headwind is that going to be as it relates to this earnings report and future earnings reports? Well, everyone's going to be looking at top line, so I think it's going to be fine. And that's why I brought up the CapEx part before, because the kind of money that they've spent, invested, Europe and France in particular and China, you know, yes, that's going to be a drag, but it's not going to stop the stock from going, All you right. know, up to 200. All right. Amazon at 200. Very quickly, Microsoft, we got about 20 seconds okay. here, Hillary. Okay, you well, say sell. Uh, or you I, sold I, already. I already sold my position. I, mean, I took it from 23 to about 27 and a half. It's not going to 30 anytime soon. This, as we, as I explained, I mean, this is for value investors who want a dividend. Take a look at deferred revenues. That's what we keep our eye on. They have a real run for their money. I mean, they have a problem. Google has an Android. Apple has an iPhone. Microsoft is competing against cloud computing. They're competing against Apple in the business sector. That's going to be a major problem for Microsoft. So Microsoft isn't, you're not going to get there like you are with an Amazon. All right. I do enjoy the connect, I will say, not to give them a free commercial. All right, Hillary, thanks so much for joining.